I wasn't ignoring you. I was just looking for my vitamin C serum. Good afternoon, not gonna lie. I'm kind of just starting my day. It's like 2 p.m. I stayed up so late editing a video, which is a labor of love. It's a labor of love. I stayed up late because I enjoy it, okay? I love hitting post on my videos, especially if it's something that I've worked on for a while. I just cooked with garlic in my fingernails, smell like garlic. after Thanksgiving and I actually decided not to go home for Thanksgiving just because the flights home were ridiculously expensive. I'm going to see my entire family in for Christmas and that's like not that far from now. So I was just like, you know what? Nah. Nah. Actually, I was pretty sad about my decision last night or yesterday, pretty much the entire day. I was like a sad little bean here in my tiny New York City apartment. I live by myself in a tiny New York City studio, which unfortunately in New York City, that still means that you are still paying a pretty penny. We're fine. It's the next day. I feel better. Also, hi, if you've never seen me before, my name is Greta. Nice to meet you. I'm a product designer. I live here in New York City. I'm Latina. See? Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to put on my workout set, okay, because that's... I because you'll see. I'm going to put on my workout set. I'm going to get my bag ready for a coffee shop, okay? Then I'm going to sit at the coffee shop, do some work, and then from there, I'm gonna go to the gym. That's how you have to think when you live in New York because you have to walk everywhere. It's like warm today. I'm so confused. Also, yes, I fully have a mic out in public. I am trying to become more comfortable with vlogging in public. But this area is so cute. I am so creepy and I find myself just like staring into the windows of these brownstones and I'm like, what is it like in there? Because they're so beautiful. Oh my God, they have Christmas trees. I just feel like Christmas in New York just hits different. I feel like the hardest thing with vlogging is getting the stairs and just continuing to do it. Like some of my favorite vloggers like Casey Neistat, Alfie Days, they have no shame because they're like, this is what I do. And if people are gonna stare, it's fine. Because I mean, at the end of the day, they're gonna stare. They're gonna be like, huh? And then they're gonna look away and continue with their day. This lighting is just <laughs> incredible. I like sat down on my computer and I was like, I don't know what to start on because you know when you just have so many things that you need to do and you're just like, what do I do first? I am heading to the gym, it's cold now. And then I shall go home, quickly change and go to my friend's place and I'm gonna walk there. And it's a 25 minute walk. Oh my God, I'm already out of breath.
alive. I have just been literally cleaning my apartment and well really my bathroom, which by the way, that little thingy, the little stick scrubber thing that I was using to clean my bathtub, please do yourself a favor and get one of those and save yourself the back pain of having to crouch and crouch over your bathtub. It's just too much work. It's too much. We're getting older, okay? Our backs cannot take it anymore. We have a clean bathroom, a clean toilet to sit on, a clean shower to shower in. I had a little bit of a brunch situation here at home, and now I really wanna go outside because as we all know, in the fall time, in the winter time, the sun sets so early. And my seasonal depression cannot take it anymore. Okay, so I need to take advantage of the sun. I need some vitamin D. I take vitamin D3 every single day, but I still feel like that's not enough. I need the physical sun on my body. But I'm wearing this famous workout set that I feel like I wear it in like every vlog that I ever make because it's just so comfortable. It's from Amazon. You know, check out my Amazon star front. I think I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. The last time I got my eyebrows threaded, it was a little traumatic because I made the mistake of telling the lady, I really like the shape of your brows, but her brows are really, really thin and she made mine super thin. I guess that's kind of my fault because I should have been clear and been like, no, please keep them as thick as possible because I just feel like I look better with thick brows. I remember when she, she put up the mirror and she's like, tell me what you think. And I was like, Oh my god, I love it. I think I'm over the trauma at this point. And then also I actually get my sideburns. I get them waxed a little bit because I tend to grow more hair on the sides. So, you know, I like to be a little naked mole rat. I might stop by like a little bakery. I think I'm going to bring my book and maybe my journal. Let's go. chaotic energy incoming. I had a very interesting after or evening. I was cooking and my electricity in my kitchen just just my kitchen went out. I think it's because I was using my air fryer. I was also I had like four things plugged in. But I figured it out myself. There's like a switchboard in my bathroom and it just shut off. I think it just felt like an overload of electricity. But I literally was just like freaking out because my fridge also like the the electricity went out and I was like, oh my God, it's like 7.30 PM. My superintendent, who's the guy in New York City, I don't know if this is like just a New York thing or in other cities, I'm not sure, but my superintendent actually lives in my building and he's the guy that I call whenever there's some kind of issue. So whenever like things like this happen, like my electricity goes out, but I was like, oh my God, it's 7.30 the day after Thanksgiving, he's probably not even home. And then I just thought, okay, Greta, think logically. Do you have a switchboard? Is that what it's called, a switchboard? But I just went to it and I realized that one of them was shut off. It just shut off by itself. And then I just turned it back on and it was fine. So I was like, who needs a man? Not me. Now I'm on my computer and I'm thinking about getting another wardrobe because essentially I don't have closets at all. 
Okay. Yeah. I live in New York City and I really wanted to save a lot on rent but live in a really nice area. So to compromise, I decided to go with an older building. I decided to forego closets. I have a dresser. I have a wardrobe, but I'm thinking of getting another one just because especially in the winter time, when you have your puffers, you have your sweaters, you have just thicker items of clothing, I didn't think about the fact that one wardrobe is not gonna cut it. So I think I'm going to buy another one. The one that I have right now is from Ikea. I was checking that out right now and tomorrow's gonna be a fun day because I have an Omar Apollo concert. If you don't know who Omar Apollo is, he is this incredible Latino artist. I don't even know how you would define his type of music. It's like not R&B necessarily, but it kind of leans towards R&B. It's almost like alternative, um, alternative pop maybe I would say, but I'm going to his concert tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's in Brooklyn at the King's Theater. I haven't gone to a concert. The last one I went to was the, um, the Rosalia concert with my best friend and it was so good. It was so much fun. I'm so excited. I've been listening to his set list the entire, like the last two weeks. And I think I have it memorized at this point. So I'm gonna be like, oh, you forgot what song you were gonna sing next. I got you. It's Kamikaze, duh. <laughs> and that's just gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun Sunday night activity because it's not something you usually do on a Sunday night. But for now, we shall look for more closet space. ready to go this is the look I'm wearing this shirt which is from this site called glaçons 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 and then I'm wearing these balloon pants or these um parachute pants yes that's what they're called these parachute pants they are from this site called local European and they are a little bit long on me so I had to tie them kind of funky on the bottom but Yes, this is the look, and yeah, that's it. We're ready to go. I am so excited. Oh, oh, oh. 